Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, I made recently, or not recently, a year ago, I made a video about inter-channel communication where you can send signals from one channel to the other channel to modulate something. And nothing really has changed uh, since then. Um, we are still stuck with the audio rate modulation tools or with sending MIDI data around and using the MIDI CC. Um, device. I link to uh, a link to this video in the description so you can rewatch it if you want to. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about how you can maybe use the uh, global modulators for that. So let's imagine you have your one uh, channel with an instrument on it, right? It's just a polymer synthesizer. You're playing some kind of melody, and on a different channel, you have maybe a polygrid. And in here, you maybe build some kind of generative device. And instead of generative stuff here, I'm just using a steps modulator. And you modulate with this thing here inside of the polygrid. You can modulate all kinds of things, right? You maybe have a sign oscillator in here, and then you take this, right? And so, so you modulate something in within the grid. But now you want to modulate something on the different channel, on the polymer here, and you want to change something, your modulation values, right? So that's not that easy because you can't get any signal here out of the polygrid that easy. I mean, we have certain out modules here. We have the audio out, which just gives you audio out of the back here of the polygrid. So there's no things here you can use to route something to a different channel. Um, there's hardware out here. Um, you can only select your basically hardware outputs of your uh, sound card. Nothing within Bitwig, right? You can't route anything to a different channel with this. Um, <clears throat> also CV out, for instance, here only uh, uses as a destination hardware outputs. So there's nothing really you can use. Um, that's your CC out. And there you get CC data back uh, out of the back of the polygrid here. So there's nothing really there you can use to um, get different signals out of the grid easily. So uh, my approach would be to uh, go here on the FX box and use a DC offset. Put this DC offset into an FX layer here. Uh, and maybe call this, um, let's say, out one. And then you can mute this channel. Well, let's call it out one. Yeah. Mute this channel. And then duplicate this. Maybe say this is out two. And this is um, out three. And you can do as many as you want, right? And because we muted this, we can now modulate basically. Well, let's use a modulator out here. Can modulate your out one. You can see we get now here the data from the steps mod uh, in the in the DC offset. And with this with this data we can now play around. Um, we can, for instance, use this here and go to the polymer and say audio rate. And then we can grab this here from the first channel. Polygrid, right? Polygrid chains out FX, FX chains, and then we see here out one pre. Outpost is muted because we muted the whole channel, so you get the post data, uh, but we get the pre here, um, and it's all we need. And you get here the stepped signal, right? Uh, from the polygrid, one channel above. And then you can use this and maybe modulate here the cutoff. So, so far so good. And um, yeah, you can do this on multiple channels. So when you create your another channel and use a poly, poly synth on there, you can basically do the same, maybe copy and paste this here. Uh, and you get the data here, right? Then you can modulate your also the cutoff if you want to. So this is basically what I explained in the, um, in the recent, on the last video about this, uh, about this topic. Uh, but now with the global modulators, we can basically do the same thing here. Um, 
here, right? So we can paste basically the audio rate in here and then call this out one. And then we can do the same thing here and maybe grab a different one. Um, let's say uh, polygrid FX uh, out two pre, right? So now we can here use different modulator in, in there, maybe a, a random mod, something like this. And with this one, we modulate, of course, here out two. So here we have now different data, right? And this one is called out two. So on the first channel now we generate data inside the polygrid. We maybe have here some kind of patch running, some generative patch. And then we feed out certain signals to the FX box here into an FX layer onto different layers. On these layers there is a DC offset device. We modulate this DC offset device and generate audio signals. These audio signals are muted because we mute the channel here. And then we grab these audio signals with an audio rate modulator on the pro project panel here um, <clears throat> with this device selector. So we grab this data and then we can use this globally in our um, in our project. So we can go down here basically to our polysynth. So instead of attaching here these modulators to each of these devices, we can just uh, grab here the audio data from the project panel and uh, modulate something. And um, because it's audio data, it's audio rate. So you have no real, um, yeah, I think inside the grid here, the, uh, when you use these modulators, there is some kind of smoothing happening uh, <clears throat> but um, I think in most cases, when you want to modulate something, it doesn't actually, um, yeah, matter that much. So you can use this freely here as you want, and you can use as many audio rate modulators as you want. You can use as many outputs here with DC offset devices in this FX layer as you want. So there's no real drawback. So this is kind of a hack, I would say. It's not intended to use it that way but you can. Um, so maybe in the future we get some special um, grid outputs for signals, uh, for nodes, or maybe for audio outputs. Maybe you also want to output different uh, multi-channel audio outputs from the grid. So this is also something people want all the time. Um, so maybe we get something in the future so we don't need to use here this DC offset device hack, um, which works for now. But you know, it's kind of a hack. It's not direct. It's not intended that way, but it kind of works. So I want to show you this, that you can use the grid or that you can use the audio rate modulators and the project panel for this. Maybe it's, uh, it's a better workflow because you can set this up here as a preset. You can set this up as a preset. Maybe call this here, um, signal out and then save it as a preset, right? And every time you need something like this, um, recall it, signal out, and then maybe call it utility, and you are done. Okay, so that's that's for now. That that's what I want to show you. Um, I haven't made any tests with the latency of maybe there are some latency issues still with the global modulators here. If you put a lot of VSTs on there and you introduce a lot of latency. Maybe some of these signals are too late. Um, you have to test this. Uh, I haven't tested out yet, uh, but I want to give you here um, a rough idea how this works. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, if you found it helpful. And um, yeah, ask some questions in the comments, of course. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.